It is time for the highs and lows of the week. Our first low goes to Hollywood type Ryan Reynolds and his unhinged attack on a beloved seasonal spice. In a new ad for his aviation gin, Ryan teaches us the proper way to make a delicious Negroni in honor of Negroni week. Everything going very smoothly until the Deadpool star gets all spun up about your favorite inescapable autumn flavor, pumpkin spice. It's nearly fall, which means the entire universe will once again be losing its mind for pumpkin spice. Well, not on aviation, not on my watch. Let's make a Negroni. First, take one part each of bitter red liqueur. And sweet vermouth, pour over ice. Take a pumpkin spiced cinnamon stick and shove it right up your ass. <laughs> Come on now, it just gets worse from there, folks. We know you watch with your children on Sundays, so we will spare you the rest of the profane meltdown while you enjoy your pumpkin spice coffee, donuts, and Yankee candle. We love you, Ryan. Our next side goes to the successful, if utterly harrowing, race to get a Broadway star from her flight to the stage in time for Curtain. Michaela Renfro was on a Delta flight home from a vacation in Europe when she got a text. She's in the ensemble of Aladdin on Broadway, and she also happens to be the understudy for the all-important role of Jasmine. That text was from the stage manager telling her they needed her to go on. Michaela was not going to miss her moment. So, she asked a flight attendant if she could get off the plane first when they landed late at around 5 o'clock because the show starts at 7. Oh, and the traffic from JFK to Midtown from there, how will she make it? How the heck was that going to happen? You know, I can't just go up to the pilot and like knock on the door and be like, can you just drive a little faster, please? If he could land the plane on Broadway, he would have done that for her. Well, there's the flight attendant. The amazing Delta crew swung into action. Flight attendants moving Michaela to an open seat in first class, got her resting and drinking water in preparation for the show. The pilot switched the gate so the plane would be closer to customs. And then they showed her how to book a helicopter, taking that traffic out of play. With just an eight-minute chopper ride into Manhattan and a quick subway ride, Michaela made it to the theater 40 minutes before showtime, got the costume, the makeup, and took the stage as Jasmine. In the audience, the flight attendant. She called her fairy godmother on the flight, Leisha Richardson, who had a ticket waiting for her when she raced to the theater right behind Michaela. They did it, and I am exhausted. Bravo to everyone involved. Our final low goes to artificial intelligence, proving it really can replicate human behavior, even when we wish it wouldn't. This was the scene the other night in Austin, Texas, near the campus of UT. Those are some 20 driverless rideshare cars getting jammed up with each other, creating gridlock traffic in the area. No drivers. The company Cruise operates those Chevy Bolts and reported it was a crowded, challenging environment, but there were no injuries or damage. What's the fun of a traffic jam if you don't even have obnoxious drivers making obscene gestures at each other? No robot can replace that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.